baila porque quiero olvidar Ponle reggaeton pa' que la vea sudar we are going to do something that has never been shown on this channel responding to an entire album actually an extension of the previous album motomami so i saw a notification on our instagram that it released yesterday so no one asked for it on the channel but i hope it will be well received and if you're new here hi welcome my name is julian i'm 22 years old and i react to review songs that you guys recommend me i do that for my own interest and i noticed that i really like let's send music it's really appealing to me and it's another way to discover new cultures from my room just here so mostly i don't understand the whole lyrics of all those spanish songs but you're there to help me out right so we're gonna start with the moto mommy plus album chiri let's go let's go chiri. no music video no subtitles Okay. Y es un salto de fe, tú te esperaste por mi firma debajo del merced Que me perdone el que yo piense que está a mi merced A mi manera por el mundo, no que sea de mala fe y duermo Con el juni que me habías hecho, lleva mi nombre Wow, what? Pero pintado en el pecho, quería dormir y me han robado el sueño Ahora dime, y estás enganchado, soy heroína Enamorada de la calle. Tú cantas alillo como canelita por un vaca por tanguillo. Chiri, 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 ya no chiri, chiri, con mi cadena, te pa chiri, chiri, en mi cadena, ya no chiri, 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 chiri. Y hasta en cancha, soy heroína. Tú te has jugado. Okay guys, first one, Chiri, very mm, glitchy beat, high-pitched voice that was on the edge of what she's capable of doing, or has this been edited with some tweaks, I don't know, I have no idea what kind of style this is, first I thought it was some kind of flamenco, because I could imagine her hand and arm movements like that, I can imagine what she always does, but I think I'm wrong, I'm not sure, so original, confusing, and interesting, guys. Um, let's go with the next one. Candy Remix! Oh, Candy was in her original Motomami album, right? Now it's remixed by Chencho Corleone. No olvido la noche que en ti me fijé. En la misma que entre sabana yo te devoré. Tu carita y la forma de hablarme a mí. Palabras que decías cuando yo estaba ahí. Nunca planificamos para después del final. Y en la nada quedó lo que contigo soñé. Y como tú me acostumbras los días sin ti. No es justo que me diga que contigo jugué. Sé que tú no me has olvidado. No me has olvidado. Amazing. 
to see this very strong B after her singing really sweetly, lovely. Then this strong beat comes and it sounds good. <laughs> Kind of weird, I'm just looking at Rosalia covering her, yeah, private parts. He has this rawness in his voice, I suppose not everyone likes it, but... Ah, yeah. Again, remarkable how this song is ended, just like dun 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 dun, ended, complete silence. Rosalia and this Chencho Corleone, I recognize him of Si tu me lo pides yo me porto bonito. So as I said, it was in the original Motomami, but I haven't listened to it, I don't recognize it. Chencho Corleone, guy, so I suppose he's new, he's a new feature or it's a song together, it doesn't seem like he's a feature. Also when he starts in the beginning and she, he also was basically until the last 20-30 seconds. But this guy has that raw, rough, gnawing voice that can take a song to another level through its flow. I really like his flow which suits in a reggaeton club. I think he can rap, he can sing fully and so to be a great addition in this song. I'm happy with this collaboration. Alberto Salia has that lovely, cute, soothing sound. Chencho, as I said, has this opposite sound, which is this rawness. Very good. I have this feeling, assumption, that this song can reach the highest in the chart. Well, we still have four more to go. So let's go to the next one. Aislamiento. Let's hit it. Rosalia. <laughs> Salgo del hotel, me acompaña entre Judí la casa y así nadie me ve Me creo invisible, en el coche atentado De golpe de flash y el cora acelerado Me acerco a la Prince, salimos pisados TMC detrás, lo dejamos atrás Coche flip flops, chequeo de ops Llueve sobre el top, se resbalan como teardrops La japonés, la de Monet Si está feliz, yo no lo sé It's like you go into a different world after every couple of minutes in a new song. It's all separate from each other that makes it so cool. <laughs> Soy joven, bonita, soy triste y 
it, it was already finished. Oh. My god guys, it's goosebumps. <laughs> what are you doing to me, Rosalia? like a bobbing train kind of storm what what okay please let me listen to the song again i am off track production wise it's surprising again a few times during the song you hear those heavy bass lines that don't really fit in when you listen to the rest but we encountered a confusion more often here which also makes it creative because it's not disturbing it's more like what the fuck am i listening to <laughs> but the voice is breathtaking again especially at 2 30 more or less I, I find it quite hard to say anything about the lyrics because it's really about something you can hear that. So the first comment says, this song makes you re-evaluate about the life that people live, that certainly their lives has changed and unexpected turns, the fame, the cameras, all the turmoil and emotions, it's really sad. I only experienced the empathetic feeling of the overwhelm and acceleration of everything that happens to Rosalia. Yeah, that also explains why the title is Isolation. So impressive song, really good. Okay guys, we continue with Lucky Lee. <laughs> Let's go. Funk? This is not beer, no. Not beer. Why the cat, Rosalia? Meow. I thought it was fucking here somewhere. It's like we are stepping into a different world again. Every song is so unique, so different. It's like they put some filter on her voice that make it sound like she's eating the microphone. Uh, let me know. I'm starting to feel it. Don't do this, Rosalia. Don't make it so confusing. Why do you have to make it so confusing? <laughs> okay, I like the chorus of the song, the refrain. 
It is catchy, very catchy. And for some reason, I think this is really appealing to Brazilians, as it made me think of some Brazilian songs we did, like Moro Turbo, Combati, Brasileira. Um, the meow, the cat sound, I didn't like that, so they could have left that out. Please, I preferred Isolation and Candy instead of this one. But thank you, Rosalia, for the art. We are going to continue with Lex, L-A-X, Rosalia, Lex. 1 minute 30. Oof. Okay, so. That was the advertisement. Here we go. Me my LA. Mi peor enemigo que de ti. Paris match, mato a mami en Louis Bar. Tengo el yard que tú no tendrás. Pero tú tienes todo lo que per... Wait, let's put it again. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It was too quick. Let's go. Me fío más de mi peor enemigo que de ti. Paris match, mato a mami en Louis Bar. Tengo el yard que tú no tendrás. Ah, I like that phrase. Tengo al yard que tú no tendrás, pero tú tienes todo lo que perdí. Must be about her. Muchos más cuchillos en el VIP Noches solas y mi crew de party Casi nadie ve lo que perdí El ex Profundo, profundo Linda pa' mi flex Nunca es linda pa' mi ex Se la comí Rolex Papá, la si Rolex flex No es en serio, no lo ves Soy modesta O buen visa, o ver gesta Se siente heavy Se siente heavy Se siente heavy Porque es focos pa' mí One minute thirty, please, Rosalia, make an extension of this. I really like the production. These instruments, a mix between organ, guitar, harp, sounds mysterious. Yeah, so I have the idea of the song that she wanted to convey a message in the song, but it only took her one minute thirty instead of three or four minutes. I like this text. It's definitely about her career, about her, yeah, and I love when artists express themselves in this way to put it in the lyrics. No silly interviews or like annoying media things, but just put it inside the song itself. Put it in the lyrics. And yeah, the message is spread like subtly described in the song. And I can imagine that she has some difficulties in her career or the beginning of her career because she hasn't been famous for a really long time, right? Only a couple of years or maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Just tell me. I like this one. Definitely going to listen to it again. Um, yeah. So that's it for now. We are going to continue with the next one. The last one, La Fama Life. I think it's better to look for a lyrics video. So there we go. Rosalia La Fama Life. Hold on, I recognize the melody. It is famous. I first part of it, but this light. So. Let's go. Why is this thing so loose? I'm just an amateur. It's with the weekend, right? Lo que pasó a ti te lo cuento. No creas que no dolió, o que me lo invento. Así es que se dio. This life beautiful for
palabras, no words. Lo que pasó me ha dejado en vela que no puedo ni pensar la sangre le hierve siempre quiere más puñaladita da su ambición en el pecho afilada en lo peor me la fuck no La Fama is a mid-tempo bachata track with electropop influences. In a statement for Rolling Stones, Rosalia noted that she wanted to write, in my own way, a bachata with a little story around ambition. The challenge was also to compose a bachata song without using guitar, which was able by chopping my voice. Whoa, okay. Taking as a reference the lyrics of Ruben Blades or Patti Smith and the songs of Aventura, after expressing her aim to write a bachata track, Romeo Santos reached out to the singer and sent her an extensive playlist. Okay, okay. The composing of La Fama began in 2018 and was intended to be solo. However, The Weeknd hopped on the song early 2020 before the recording of the Blinding Light remix. Yeah, that's how I recognized it, with The Weeknd, right? So this song was number one in Spain and the video has 120 million views. There were some people who recommended this song to me, but well, guys, here it is. <laughs> so guys, that's how we finished the album. That could be described as a dazzling musical surprise box filled with mixes of reggaeton, glitchy R&B sounds and left field pop, kind of a mix between everything. So let me know which one is your favorite. My favorite is definitely La Fama. It's amazing. Second of all, it will be Candy. Third of all, it will be Aislamiento Isolation. After that, Lex. Oh, they were both good, actually. Isolation and Lex. Then, Chiri. And the last one, La Kilie. So, next one will be Poem to a Horse of Shakira here on the channel. I hope you will be watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, put a like. If you didn't, please put a dislike. And I hope to see you in the next video, guys. Love you. Cheers. Bye.